Sexy Tarot. Taurus, this will be your edition of Sexy Hair is the Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Taurus, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders in the cards, keep in mind their energies. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and Moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted by way of cash app or by way of a donations link, which you can find in the description box below. Taurus, there will be an extended to this reading. If you are a member, you'll find the extended reading link located in the description box below. If you are not a member and you want to view the extended reading, you can click the link to my to my Gumroad account in the description box below. The extended is $5 if you are not a member. Taurus, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be a general reading. So let's see what energies are approaching you. On the crack, Taurus. All right, some of you are dealing with a Libra. So um, I see this is possibly a karmic situation. Something needs to be made right, okay? So um, someone um, wants to give fairly to a situation. Someone wants to give fairly to a situation. One good shuffle for the Taurus. This might be a court matter, and, you know, there will be a fair outcome if this is a court matter, it looks like. Um, it might be something involving... Um, paying child support or something, we'll figure it out. In the extended, I'm going to dive deeper into the energies and get very specific. Spirit, what energies are surrounding Taurus? What is it that you would like Taurus to know most at this time, Spirit? So let's pull your energies, Taurus. Taurus, you have the Four of Cups. You have the Seven of Wands. You have the World. You have temperance, the eight of swords, the high priestess, the devil, the devil and the angel. You know the angel will win, right? <laughs> the three of pentacles and the nine of wands. Taurus, I don't know what kind of funky energy you in, but... Taurus, I'm sorry, I had a call coming in. I don't know what kind of funky energy you in, but the signs that I have on the board are Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Pisces, Capricorn. One more time. I have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Capricorn. So, Taurus, it looks like that... Um, you want to make an offer, or an offer is coming into you. But this is a toxic offer. You don't trust it. I don't know who, if you making this offer or this offer coming into you, somebody don't trust this offer because it's toxic. And they like, you know what, I just want to close this out. I don't want no parts of this. Um, Taurus, I feel like you setting your boundaries. I feel like you're standing your ground in relation to something. I feel like um, when it comes to healing or compromising or negotiating a situation that you possibly want to reconcile, you want to put, you want to have a conversation, but y'all not talking right now. Somebody stands in a ground here. Someone is standing their ground. They're like, you know what? Um, I need I want to heal this, but we're not talking. This could this is something done in secret, 
let me tell you this right now. Taurus, I feel like you want to return to something, but you're afraid. You're afraid because you don't really have the freedom to return. You don't have the freedom to go after this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're afraid to return to this. But something is tempting here to you. Taurus, I feel like you are considering making an offer. But I feel like you're afraid. Either you don't trust it or someone doesn't trust you. So, Taurus, with that being said, the reason for your reading is the hermit. Some of you are doing with a Virgo. So, you're doing some soul searching right now, some inner reflection to work these energies out. That's good. At the bottom of the deck, here's that confusion with the Seven of Cups. Here's the Ten of Cups. Whatever this is, you or someone walked away from this. This was walked away from once upon a time. And I feel like you thinking about reconciling with this, returning to this. This could be a friend. And I feel like you're confused as you're confused because you don't know if this is um a good idea. That's what I'm hearing. And with this King of Cups, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like you got a lot of emotions, a lot of love. All these cups, <coughs> excuse me, all these cups, you want your feelings, Taurus. You got a lot of emotions for this, um, but you hide in these emotions. But you confuse because you don't know if you could be happy with this. Or this could be involving a family situation. And I feel like with this hermit energy, you know, the hermit, the hermit travels to a top of a mountain. And that climb to the top of the mountain is arduous, okay? Be it, it's a lot of work. Because what the hermit is doing when they're climbing that mountain is they're overcoming an obstacle. A mountain is an obstacle. And it's like, you, you putting that work in, in inside, though. This is self-work. And you're climbing to the top of that mountain, mountain, and it's arduous, right? And you're doing some soul searching. And what you're soul searching about is, you're like, look, I need clarity. I want inner reflection. But the hermit, you know, they grow tired throughout this. Because what they're trying to do is take that lantern and light their way. So, the first energy out to you is, um, for you is the Four of Cups. So, Taurus, there's an um, offer here. I feel like it's involving a friend or a third party, something that makes you happy. I feel like you're sitting here at the root of this tree meditating if you should send this offer or I feel like um, this offer is coming into you. This is something that was not appreciated. I need to say that this is something that was not appreciated, possibly taken for granted. So um, let me look at this four of cups. Spirit, why is the four of cups here for Taurus? Why is the four of cups here for Taurus? Spirit, please and thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have fluid, fluidity. You have death. Some of you are done with a Scorpio. And here's that hermit energy with isolation. And, and Taurus, I feel like what you're doing is, um, I feel like you tried to emotionally remove yourself from a situation. I feel like you chose to be alone. Okay. I feel like you needed to recharge your mind, your body, your energy. But I feel like um, something wasn't flowing. Something wasn't flowing here. But with death, there's usually a transformation. So maybe you are about to come out of hermit mode. With Taurus, with this Four of Cups, okay, there was something lightning happening here. This is like something, a sudden change. This is um, 
it looks like either you want to make an offer or someone wants to make an offer to you. It's an emotional one, but this is the sudden change. This is like out of nowhere, okay? This is out of nowhere. Um, it's a quick action. It's going to shock someone. It's like somebody's realizing out of nowhere, like, damn, I'm in love. So let's see what this Four of Cups and Lightning is about. Spirit, why is Four of Cups and Lightning here for Taurus? Why is the Four of Cups and Lightning? Okay. Let's take the bottom three energies. So, Taurus, you have to be careful not to take risks at, at this time. The reason you have to be careful not to take risks at this time, because it's like you just successfully overcame a problem with bridge, okay? So, um, and you, whatever this problem you overcame, it ain't been that long with short journey. So, you got to be careful not to take risks, okay? And it's like you don't cause some worry for nothing. So listen to what I'm telling you. You got to be careful not to take a risk because you just overcame a problem not too long ago. Okay? Not too long ago. And you won't cause some worry over nothing. So I'm being told to tell you that. But Taurus, I feel like somebody's realizing they're in love and they want to let someone know that they admire them. So you could be sending this offer or it could be coming into you. And I feel like it's a shocking offer. Out of nowhere, this message of love comes in. It's like, you know, I really admire you. I really love you. And it's going to surprise someone. So any extended will go deeper. Taurus with the seven of wands energy, okay? I feel like um, you want to fight for something or you're standing your ground, you're setting boundaries because it's like there needs to be a common ground in order to bridge this gap. There needs to be some sort of common ground in order to bridge this gap. And there's shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So I feel like you are in a battle with, with someone. I feel like this is might be business, it might be business related. It might be involving a promotion. And I feel like you need to stand your ground until you you and whatever this is meet some sort of middle ground. You could be fighting with an employer. You don't have to be that. Taurus with this world core energy, okay? I feel like um this is a possibly an ending to you being single. I, it could be an ending to you being single. You might be um, making an offer to return to someone because that pineapple looks like it's going to the world. And it looks like it's going to happen this month in June. Okay. Taurus, I feel like with temper temperance, okay, um, some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. I feel like you want to heal a situation with someone. This situation was involving something you love. It was imbalanced, though. Somebody was just pouring, giving, 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 and the other one was just receiving. And I feel like you want to compromise and negotiate with this person. And with this owl card, this could be someone um, that practices witchcraft, or does magic. Um, I feel like you want to heal something, do some deep shadow work. Um, this is inner wisdom, spiritual evolution. And I feel like you learned a hard lesson. Or this could be someone else. And I feel like you want to heal this, okay? But I want you to know it's going to be hard work. It's going to be hard work. Taurus, with this aid of swords energy, okay? I feel like that you're stuck. I feel like you're stuck. I feel like you're fearful. I feel like um, 
you're you're stuck in some sort of toxic situation with the snake okay i feel like with the snake card energy that it's a time to heal this okay but somebody has to shed their old skin okay um you could be stuck with somebody that's jealous and envious of you possibly at work or it's involving some sort of work achievement or success Taurus, with this high priestess energy, um, some of you are dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, possibly a Cancer. But this is a very, this could be you, um, but Taurus is usually the Hierophant, the divine counterpart to the high priestess. This is um, someone who's intuitive. This is someone who... Um, is keeping quiet you and this person is not are not talking right now possibly due to some secrets um there could be some secret communication online um involving some family wishes coming true so i definitely am curious about that energy Taurus, with this devil energy, there is a toxic component here. There could be addictions, um, heavy drinking, drugging, gambling, video game addictions, but somebody could be um, stuck in a relationship. Um, but there is a toxic component here. And this toxic, it's like, due to this toxic behavior, some of you are done with a Capricorn, someone's barely hanging on. And there's a long journey, either physical or mental, that will leave you wiser at the end. And remember, I told you the hermit, this hermit is doing soul searching and is climbing that mountain. And that mountain is full of obstacles, okay, and challenges. And it's very arduous. So it's a long journey, but it will leave you wiser at the end because it's like you're barely hanging on at this time, barely surviving, whatever that means to you. Or this toxicity puts this barrier in place where you don't where you don't feel like you're making healthy choices. Taurus, with this three of pentacles, this three of pentacles. I mean, everybody wants to call when I'm doing readings and I'm really trying to figure this, this out. Taurus with this three of pentacles energy, I feel like you're collaborating, you're working, you're networking with people. Um, I feel like there's an idea you have in relation to a marriage. There could be a third party as well in a marriage, or you could be working on some contractual agreement and you need to defend yourself. Taurus, I feel like um, with this nine of wands energy, there's a lot of pain. I feel like someone's very guarded. I feel like someone has their walls up. And I feel like you're frustrated by this or someone is frustrated by this because it's causing delays. It's causing something to slow down. And there's disappointment in a lover or a friend. So I feel like there was something that that um, caused some trust issues here that caused a lot of pain, that caused someone to put their walls up and not and and it was disappointing for someone, and it slowed everything down. So Taurus, in the extended, I'm going to dive deeper into these energies to see what this is all about. And I hope to see you there, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. This has been your edition of Sexy Hey, It's a Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Taurus. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video, Peace, Taurus. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it depends on who the car chooses. Leaving emotional bruises. Uh, yeah, and when the truth comes out, I know these suckers are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. There's no need to speak because she know what the news is.